So, you want to become a VTuber? Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to be a VTuber at every budget, and exactly what you'll need to do, and what websites to use. Hopefully it helps. There will also be timestamps below if you want to skip to certain budgets, if you have a specific want in mind. Let's get into it. First, let's go over the zero to, let's say $300 range. This is for people who are just starting out. I would really recommend that you start out in this range when becoming a VTuber, mostly because first of all, you wanna figure out whether or not you have a passion for it. And if you even actually like streaming at all, period. When starting out VTubing, you have a couple of choices, especially on a budget. You can be a free 3D model, you can be a PNG tuber, or you can even get pre made or customizable models online. The first one we'll be going over is a completely free option. This is called Vroid Studio. It's a software that allows you to make a completely free 3D model by customizing and choosing pre-made assets that are free on the software. It's pretty great for starting out. I personally have never used it, but I've only heard good things, and I've seen many cool models come out of it. Another good option is becoming a PNG tuber, where rather than a full model, you have a 2D piece of art where you get a version that's talking and not talking. There's a website called VGen, which is actually a great website to get many of your assets from. Uh, and if you just look up PNG Tuber, you can see all the options here. You have a lot to choose from, so you can get pretty creative with it and get your OC made. The third option, which is a bit higher in the budget, around the $100 to $300 mark, and this is actually the one that I recommend, is you can get a customizable VTuber. Now, Suika, who is mutual of mine, has made an amazing one, which you probably have heard of because so many VTubers are using this, but there are so many customizations to choose from, all sorts of hair types, eyes, outfits, it's amazing. This is probably the most popular customizable model at the moment. However, there are so many others to choose from by amazing artists. This one comes fully created and rigged. It's just plug and play. You put it into VTube Studio and you're good to go. Here's another one I wanted to showcase. This appears to be a androgynous or maybe male model. I'm not 100% sure because I just found this, but there are also male versions out there for those of you who want to become a male VTuber. Pretty cool customizations overall. Very, very cool. A third option is there's this website called Booth where people will actually create and release pre-made models of their own. These ones are not usually customizable. However, some of them might be. Oh, there's Suika's model. Yeah, you can just come on here, search for male VTuber, female VTuber, and there are many pre-made models that are just completely ready to go, plug and play. It's pretty awesome, actually. I would really recommend this if you don't have a specific design in mind, really. Next, let's get into the mid-range. We'll say this is around 300 to 5,000. I know that seems like a big budget, but it really just depends on what you as the creator want. Because when it comes to VTuber models, you can be as creative as you want, but the more creative that you get, usually the price will increase to reflect that. Now, here's where we come back to VGen, the site that I recommended earlier. Here you can see there's a bunch of things where you can get VTuber models, VTuber art, and VTuber rigging. When a model is made, it needs to be drawn and then rigged. Or if it's 3D, it needs to be created in mesh and then drawn on and then rigged. Or, well, it needs to be textured, rather. Now again, VGen is a really great site for starters. Models can range anywhere from, I would say, 200 to $5,000 for the art. Again, I know that sounds crazy, but it depends on what you as a creator want. For example, my model cost around $10,000. But before you freak out, the reason why my model costs so much is because I seeked out a very specific artist who is in high demand and also a very specific rigger who is in high demand. And on top of that, I didn't ask for just one toggle. I have many, many toggles, different outfits, different hairstyles, different like everything faces and like all this crazy stuff that my model can do. Most models don't need. And also you can see my tracking is very, very like, it, al it almost looks like I'm 3D. Uh, you see what I mean? This is like what the top of the top gets you, but most people honestly don't need it. The reality with VTubing is you don't need the best stuff to perform well. You just need to be entertaining. I got this because my amazing community helped me and supported me, and this was my way to thank them. I also wanted to show you guys some nice, pretty high quality 3D models. Uh, I have a couple artists. This is Janomu, J Janomu. They actually made my first ever 3D model back when I started out VTubing in around 2020, 2021. I can't remember exactly when, but they've made a, a bunch of very, very amazing uh, 3D models. Here's another one, Mari. 
、uh, they have worked with actually many, many big creators. And again, this is not exactly a budget friendly model. They're probably gonna cost a lot more, but usually 3D models tend to cost a bit less than 2D models, not because they're easier per se. But there's usually less layering because it's 3D mesh. But again, it depends on who. And of course, you can search on VGen for 3D models. There are also many 3D models to choose from on Booth as well. And yeah, there's lots of options if you just know where to look and put in the time and research. Lastly, I will cover the, let's say, 5000 plus. Now, this is for the oilers out there, the, the people who just wanna get the best of the best, crazy high quality. Now, this is just one example that I'm showing you. You, but there are artists who are in high demand, obviously because their work is amazing. Here's one artist, Kamo Chiru. They are an amazing VTuber model artist. They've worked with many, many people. They have a crazy art style and they are amazing. However, this is not a budget friendly model. If you work with them, I, I won't say their prices because it depends on the complexity, but their base prices themselves are pretty high compared to others, but that's because you're getting something that's in high demand. And their art style is very unique and amazing, and many people want it. With price comes demand, type thing. Now, with the rigger, this is just one example. This is actually my rigger, the person who rigged my current model that I'm using, Karoma. As you can see, their rigging is insanely, insanely good. This is a 2D model we're looking at right now. But look, it looks so 3D. That's because he puts countless hours and works so hard and actually has gotten awards from Live 2D for his work. But of course, this is going to cost you more than the average rig. And that's because you're getting a higher quality product. It's like any other job, you get what you pay for. You know what I mean? And that isn't to take away from other people. There are many up and coming riggers that you can choose from, and there are many artists that you can choose from. I'm just showing you two examples just to show you what you can get if you really want and have the budget for it. You might be wondering, how come some VTuber models are so expensive? Well, this is actually very simple. Getting a VTuber model is not as simple as just drawing a thing and it moves. When creating a VTuber model, an artist has to draw your entire Model, right? They have to also draw all of the assets for it, the toggles that you want and the outfits. And then they have to cut up the, the model because it's not just a flat like PNG. They have to cut it up to prepare it for the rigger who rigs it and makes it move like this. And then the rigger has to rig every little part of your body, every little layer. And that takes many, 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 many months, depending on how complex your model is. My model, for example, took over two years to make between the art and then the rig. And then testing it and fixing bugs. It's a long process, and that's why it can get so expensive. But that does not mean that there are not budget friendly options out there. You just have to look. As for what software that you'll need, it depends on if you want to be 3D, 2D, or a PNG tuber. If you want to be 3D, I would recommend Warudo, which is on Steam. If you want to be 2D, I would recommend VTube Studio, which is actually on Steam as well. And then if you want to be a PNG tuber, I would recommend Discord Reactive or Fugi Tech, whichever you'd prefer. Because that's just a browser source that you put on your OBS. Something to mention for 2D models on VTube Studio specifically is there's actually different qualities of tracking that you can get for your face and mouth. For example, I'll show you a regular version of tracking. This is the default tracking that you can get for a mouth on VTube Studio. Normal tracking. This is actually my old model.、Uh, as you can see, it's not very precise with how it follows my mouth. <laughs> But you know, it, it, it's, it, it was good for the time, and it's totally fine if you want to do this starting out. But there is this new tracking called V Bridger tracking. What it does is it uses the infrared sensors and the front camera on iPhones 10 and above, iPhone X, and it enables you to do very specific mouth movements. Like, see what I. It's very precise, as you can see. If you like, like, ow, wow, hello, hello, you know what I mean? It's very precise. This is called V Bridger rigging. rigging. It usually costs a bit more, and, you know, understandably so, because it's better, but it's totally optional. You don't need it, especially if you're just starting out. In the future, though, if you upgrade your model or get a new one, I really recommend looking into it. The two ways that you can get this rigging is with. Two apps on Steam. One is called V Bridger, which is the, you know, V Bridger rigging, works with V Bridger. There's another app called Vitamins, which is a 
Japanese version that's also free. That's the one that I use, just personal preference, but whatever your rigger is more comfortable rigging for is probably your best bet. Hopefully this helps you get started on your VTuber journey. If you have any questions, please feel free to come to my streams at twitch.tv sends or leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Good luck being a VTuber. Welcome to hell.